fans of the things that just don't go away. TC Electronic released the Infinite pedal, which as of the filming of this video, I haven't even released the Infinite pedal video. So I'm going to say I'm going to release that before this video comes out because otherwise none of this makes sense. It's a really cool pedal where you can uh, just hit the thing and then it kind of freezes. It's a freeze pedal. It freezes your, your sound and it creates a beautiful carpet underneath what you're doing. The specialties of this pedal are that it has built-in reverb, so when you're then noodling over it, even in clean, it uses the built-in reverb and also sends whatever it has looped or frozen through the reverb, which is beautiful. And you can actually stack one, two, three different freezes on top of each other. So you can do a power chord and then freeze a nice triad and then freeze some nice tensions. So you can really build beautiful soundscapes with it. And you have a lot of the controls right there on the pedal, including tone print. Now, if this is too A, expensive and B, too big for you, and I also think, is it stereo? I think it could be stereo. Not sure. But this one is uh, the small version of it. it. It doesn't have all the controls. It pretty much comes with one setup. But that one setup, you can actually tone print to the pedal. So you have the uh, ability to do uh, only one freeze level or uh, up to three or however many. We have to check that out. Different layers. Now, you have the level of your freeze. You have the decay. So that means once you uh, do a new level, a new layer, how long does it take for the old one to go away? And the new one isn't there immediately. It can actually fade in. The verb will light up when the verb is active. Again, all of that is just doable with the app. It is pretty much a one preset kind of a thing, but you can determine what that preset is. On the side right here is a good old mini USB. Is it mini? Yes, that's an old type of technology that shouldn't be there anymore, but um, TC is using the uh, platform that they had for these pedals for quite a while. So this is, you know, a remnant of an older era, but that's fine. Uh, I think it comes... No, it does, doesn't have that cable in the box as far as I know. No. Wait. Nope, no cable in the box. And then, you know, power here, uh, input, output. So you can hook it up to a desktop and edit your settings there yourself. Or even easier, use the Tone Print app. Make sure you update it so this thing shows up. And then in here, you can see the infinite sample sustainer. And there's VHS double dip. We're going to go to multiple Tone Prints. This is stuff that TC did, and you can even have chorus and reverb on it. And uh, on the on the freeze, it, it even says box flanger. L3 means three layers. So we're gonna check some of these out. So the question is, how do we get them on there? I mean, do I just take my phone and like you know smack it on there as hard as I can? No, it's the good old, still fucking brilliant technology where you beam it with your guitar, like Scotty. So let me show you the functionality as is, and then with the app. Um, as it is, when you're hitting it, it lights up red. Now it's freezing, double, it's gone. But that means it is a latching foot switch. What if you want it momentary? So you're hitting it, and only when you're hitting it, it's sustaining, which makes a lot of sense. Well, you pretty much pull the power, hold the foot switch, plug it in, and now it's green, and that means latch, and it's gone. But we want it latching. That's how easy it is. No extra, you know, switches or whatever. And um, this is how the pedal works. Oh. I, I love the reverb, by the way, that's just there when, when you're... Um, doing your, you know, you know what I mean. Could you use it just as a reverb pedal if I'm not playing anything? Right now it's freezing, but there's no input. So you don't hear anything. But now I can play through the reverb.
So you could technically use it as a reverb pedal as long as you're pretending to freeze something. And it's a one setting reverb, but it's a nice one. So I'll play something here, let's say a nice A minor seven. It's a great tool for practicing. Let's say you want to do your modes in Pedal Tone Licks. Pedal Tone Licks, by the way, spectreacademy.net. Check out my course, Pedal Tone Licks. So we're going to do a C. Phrygian. Uh, anyway, so it, it, that's a great tool to actually like, you know, just practice. But you want more fun, right? So we're going to call up this app here. It's not connected to the pedal in any way, by the way. So we're going to do Box Flanger L3. Here we go. Box Flanger L3. So I'm going to click on that and it tells you some things about it. And at the bottom it says Beam to Pedal. So I'm going to go to this pickup and just click Beam to Pedal. Oh, make sure the guitar's volume is up. <laughs> so this is where I wanted to show you how you beam sounds to the pedal with the Tone Print app. The only problem is what you have just seen was about six or eight weeks ago when the Tone Print app didn't have the necessary functionality. And then I tried to get a, uh, a pre-version of it and then it wouldn't work. So I'm filming it after the pedal is out when the Tone Print app has the necessary functionality. And now we can actually go into the app and you can see right here, there is the infinite mini sampler. Sorry, there's reflection. So you click on that and there's George Bissell and Double Dip by Pedal Platform. But we're going to go to multiple and here you have a shit ton of stuff. So the cool thing is you can actually change the reverbs or add flanger to your uh, to your sound, but we're gonna want to show you the different layers. So let's immediately go to triple layers, okay? Technically, once I do that, we should see it flashing and then having the sound. I'm gonna turn the amp on. <laughs> And there we go. Did you see it doing this? Now, technically, I should have three layers. So we're going to try this. We're going to do an A here. So I beautifully layered what I wanted to do. Now, if I add another layer, the original one should be gone. Let's try this. We're going to add a nine here.
double click and it's gone. So you can see this is the cool thing about the infinite. It's not just one freeze layer. Uh, it is one, two or three, but obviously there is more. So let's see. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip beaming wizard. Done. The beaming wizard. I'm gonna go to huge live room and advanced flanger. And, and, and we're done. Couldn't really hear flanger there and the verb can we get the verb off let's see box flanger l3 which means three layers maybe you want to do this that sounds like a good idea it's a good idea to have it's a good idea to have your amp on mute if you do that live <laughs> Wobbly vibrato. pretty dry so I did add effect from my Eventide H90 but this is it's obviously a one trick pony in each in, in individual setting but if you had the time and the inclination to change between songs you could however you probably have your favorite setting that's kind of like lush and a little bit of moving movement in there uh, the, the, the tremolo was kind of cool and you will use this for example in front of a bridge in your song, life, to just have that one power chord sitting there building a nice pad for you to then do other things on top of it. And of course, you could have this, I don't know, with a router going into a different amp or a different setup. And there's a many, many, many different options to use this. It is a box that requires your creativity unless you really just want to use it at home to uh, make a pad, 
practice on top of it, make a pad, practice on top of it. This is, I think, in a way more practical than the big one because you really need all the settings. I mean, okay, on the big one, you've got the one layer, two layer, three layer, and then the tone prints, and you can quickly go there without having to get your phone out and beam things over. So technically the big one is more practical, but if you don't need that, as always, they now have a smaller, more affordable version of the pedal that you might want. So that was it. A video that took months to make. Part A, part, part B, part A. Oh my God, my Sherman. Part A and part B. Um, thank you, DC, for commissioning this. Um, I put links below to Tom and Sweetwater. Please check them out. Thank you, Leslie, for switching and animals at the end. Mm -hmm.